All right, guys, today we're unboxing the EinScan H from Shining 3D. This is the infrared and structured light 3D scanner, best for body scanning, medical stuff, and a lot of other things. And I'm gonna tell you all about it, but let's dive right in and see what we got inside this shiny box. All right, so when you get it in the mail, it really just comes in a box like this. And well, you'll notice the difference between this and the HX is that the HX actually comes with a Pelican case. It's a super good, hard travel case. Uh, and you can actually get that for this machine too. It just comes separately. So check out our site for that. And uh, let's open this puppy up. Whoop. <laughs> so we've got the H. You'll notice it looks exactly like the HX, but it's a lighter color because they actually use the same body design for these two scanners. Uh, you know, it looks a little more compact than the previous models. Other than that, nice thick box. Let's open it up and see what's going on. All right, so as is standard, you've got your solid edge card on the top. Now, solid edge is a CAD program that comes with every 3D scanner from, from Shining 3D. So if you don't already have a CAD program, they got you covered and it's pretty good. You know, you can also use Fusion 360, SolidWorks, whatever else you've got. Um, and this is the activation code for that. So right on top and of course the packing list. So this should have the scanner, USB drive, a power adapter, power cable, calibration board and position paper along with a pack of markers. Interesting thing about the markers, I'll get right into. So on the top here, you'll notice this big thing. Uh, so what this really is, I'll take it out of the bag here. Um, actually, right on top here is this. This is a positioning marker. So really, I'm just gonna set this flat there and I'm gonna use it with this calibration board. Now it's interesting because this calibration board is actually two parts. You notice it's white. It's a great white on the outside and that's used for calibrating the white of the color scanning feature. So you can actually, it's actually functional on the outside and then when you open it up, it's got little magnets there, keeps it closed. You've got this huge array of reflective markers and that is what you use when you actually calibrate the machine, which actually takes about three minutes. We got a whole video on it. It's no big deal at all. And uh, what you do with this is, if you can see that pattern, when you're doing the calibration, you just put this on it like that, match it up, and then you proceed with calibration. Super simple, super easy. So we've got the cables, scanner itself, the X-Scan or EinScan software. Um, I think it's EinScan H software. There's different software uh, versions that come for the Pro HD, the HX, and the H, so it's really it's pretty straightforward. Um, over here you have the power cable along with all sorts of different things uh, for every different part of the world. No matter where you are, you can use this power plug in your sockets. And then right here, I'll just take everything out one at a time. So here you've got your pack of markers. There's something like 5,000 markers in here. It's a lot. And uh, these ones, compared to the Pro HD, these are actually the same as the HX. And they're bigger than the ones in the Pro HD. So when you're scanning with the Pro HD and you've got markers, they're little markers, the H and HX actually won't pick those up, whereas these bigger ones, the HD and the 2X Plus and everything else won't pick those up. So just an interesting little thing, but you get tons of these to use. Obviously the power cable, as well as the USB cable all in one. Basically what this is, is you've got one end with a USB port. So obviously that goes into USB 3.0 and then you've got this little dongle here and you take this little dust cap off and you're actually gonna plug the power into here. So that goes into the wall and it powers the rest of the scanner. And then this is the end that actually goes into the scanner. You've got the USB and the power. There's a really nice little power plug that actually has a just little quick fit on there. Uh, very simple, very good. And of course the USB disc with the software and the power cable itself, which once again, as I was saying, yeah, I mean, we've got stuff for, uh, looks like the US, we've got European plugs. Uh, I don't even know where this one goes, but they're like at an angle. And uh, uh, another big European plug, or that might be uh, Asia. 
plug and another US plug. So good to know, good to have, no matter where you are in the world, you get this thing and you'll be able to plug it in. And last but not least, we've got the scanner itself right here. So let's take this puppy out. Ooh, this is nice. It's kind of like a pearlescent white. It looks like it belongs in a hospital. It's got that, it's got that look to it, you know, that like that light, lightly colored, whatever. Uh, very nice. Okay. So on the scanner itself, you've got the start and stop button, uh, which you actually use with the software. So you don't have to be clicking on the screen all the time. And then one of the cool things about the H and HX is you can actually adjust the brightness on the fly right here. And then you can adjust other settings with the up and down arrows. So that makes it really easy. Also, this back area is an LED that lights up while you're scanning. And so you can be looking at your scan. And one of the things with 3D scanning by freehand is staying at the correct distance. You gotta be not too close and not too far. And in the software, it shows you exactly, okay, you're almost too far, you're too far, or you're just right, or you're too close. And this light corresponds to whether or not you're too close, too far, or just right. So when you're scanning, it'll be green or blue, uh, and then it'll turn red or yellow when you're too close or too far. So that just makes it really easy to know if you're at the appropriate distance while freehand scanning. Man, good stuff, very good stuff. I'll show you how this power cord works. You get the USB plugged in right there. And then the power is really easy to do. You just find the arrow on the top right there, and it just goes in. And now it's, it's actually locked in there. There's a little sleeve that you have to pull to unlock it and get it out. It's uh, very nice, very industrial, works well. So why would you get this scanner over all the other ones? Well, uh, it's really interesting. Depending on what you're doing, there's gonna be different scanners that are good for different things. And one scanner is not necessarily the best for everything. Sometimes you need to have a couple different scanners. And there's a lot of ways to go about that. Give us a call or shoot us an email and we'll help you actually determine what the right way is. But this bad boy right here in particular is infrared, which means it's not just using regular light. And one of the biggest problems we have in 3D scanning with structured light or lasers is getting people's hair, dark hair in particularly, dark objects that aren't reflecting normal, you know, visible light. So using the infrared allows you to get the hair and the dark objects, a lot of the dark objects, um, without having to spray them or use markers or do other things to get around it not reflecting light. So that's really what this is for. If you're looking to do full body scans or face scans or body part scans, this is usually gonna be the best scanner for you. Now, as far as accuracy and resolution goes, most of the scanners are very, very similar. We're not quite to full on, you know, aerospace level, super micron metrology, but we're way past the point where it's good enough to get an actual, uh, accurate representation and measurement of whatever it is you're scanning down to the 40 micron range. So very, very high resolution. And this not only does structured light and infrared, but it has full color scanning too. So if you're doing augmented reality scans of people or things, this is a great, great choice. Now we will be doing a lot more videos on scanning stuff and people with this scanner as well as the entire lineup of Einscan 3D scanners. And one video in particular that we're working on is a comparison where we're gonna scan the same object with three different scanners or different objects with different scanners. So let me know down below in the comments, what do you want scanned so that we can give you real world examples of what you're thinking in your business if you could use this for. So anyway, yeah. The unboxing, that's about it for today. We'll go over the calibration and the use of this later. Make sure you're subscribed, hit that like button if you like this content, it really makes us feel good and uh, shows us that we're doing something right for you. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video.